Hello, Team SFO. Each incredible member of the city and airport's essential and tireless workforce focused on the health and safety of so many right now. Our passengers, our families, and also each other. While our endurance and resilience in this battle against an unprecedented pandemic can't pause, we can bring some normalcy through tradition and celebration. This month marks the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, another example of the world coming together to address a global threat. And in the spirit of our strong community, our Reaching for Number One committee brings you some of our personal best sustainability hacks to help each other cut costs, grow healthier homes, and sustain our shared planet each and every day. My sustainability hacks are swapping everyday household products. Number one, cloth napkins and cloth paper towels are just as good as the paper version, except better because you can reuse them again and again. And pro tip, they work perfect as packing material when moving. Just put them between your plates and bowls. And Buying 100% renewable energy. I live in San Francisco and the city has a program called Clean Power SF. Um, so you still pay your bill through PG&E, but basically uh, you pay a certain percentage more a month and you are buying into the 100% renewable energy. Hi everyone, my sustainability hack is not owning a car. I walk everywhere, uh, try to take my bicycle whenever I can, and then if it's too far to walk, I have the option of taking transit. It's great exercise, uh, reduces all of our carbon emissions, which a third of a normal person's carbon emissions is actually attributed to transportation. So just right there by walking around your neighborhood, you're taking away a third of your daily emissions. You may want to consider switching out to double pane windows and doors. My wife and I did it years ago. Cuts down on the outside noise, which is great if you live by an airport, and it helps keep the heat in in winter, so you save money on your bills. So think about it, double pane windows. My sustainability hacks are planting drought resistant plants in the front and the backyard, as well as having a smart watering system to help reduce the amount of water we use. Because remember, we live in a drought prone state. You have the power. We choose to use our high energy intensive appliances, such as our dishwasher and our washing machine and our clothes dryer um, during off peak time. So 11 p.m. until 4 a.m. using a timer. This keeps our costs down, but also reduces the need for dirty energy peaking. Uh, in I tend to do a lot of things around the house uh, in terms of building things or fixing things. And I go to my, one of my favorite stores in Berkeley, Urban Ore, where you can get uh, recycled materials and hardware for really good prices with a lot of life left. And I, the way I get to work is bus and then BART. Um, so supporting public transit whenever possible. Um, and I'm trying to get better at riding my bike. Dry laundry detergent. You get all the detergent without the giant plastic bottle or the shipping and storage of all that water. Ditch the plastic in your bathroom. Use bar shampoo, conditioner, and body wash with a reusable cloth washcloth instead of a plastic loofah. Also, there is a handful of great plastic-free toothpaste options out there that come in powder or tablet form in glass bottle. Why shop when you can swap? I've committed to buying nothing new and supplement my closet with amazing consignment finds, all local, no shipping and via swaps with family and friends. And you can do that too, it's a blast. To solid shampoo, which lasts just as long as regular shampoo for about the same price, but with none of the plastic. Thanks.